Are you ready to start a business but worried you're going to look like so many others? People who build up hype behind their offer, but then you kind of scratch below the surface and you're left with all these empty hopes and false promises? This does not have to be you. In this video, I'm going to break down some of the most common business mistakes I see time and time again and what you can do instead to find new and innovative ways to connect and sell online things that are in alignment, fun, honest, and profitable. Hey, welcome back. If you haven't met me, I am Julie Stoyan. I'm one of the co-founders of Funnel Gorgeous, and I'm going to go through all of these things that I think you can avoid super easily just as soon as you like cue into what they are. All right, so number one business mistake I see is that people use scammy marketing tactics to get revenue because they think that's what they have to do. And this is in part due to the industry. The industry of online marketing is full of scammers, is full of money grabs and get rich quick. So you see these things and even if that's not what you are, you naturally think, oh, that's what I have to do in order to get the sale. The truth is that you need three things just three to get the sale. You need a great offer, an offer that actually solves a problem that really helps the person that you're trying to help that is priced well and very comprehensive. So you need a great offer. You need really good messaging, so copy. You need a a good angle and a good hook so that people pay attention because even if your offer is amazing, if you don't have a good sign holding it up saying this is going to help you, they're going to miss it in all the noise of social media. The third thing you need is a memorable brand. You need good design. You need to be able to stand out. There's a reason that companies like Coca-Cola and Nike and others stand out. It's because they have amazing branding. When you put those three things together, a great offer, good copy, and good design, you have what it takes. You do not need any scammy marketing tactics to sell. Business mistake number two, only caring about the sale. Now we see this happen a lot because people get so dialed into marketing and so dialed into sales that then they forget about all the other stuff on the back end, which is like delivery and operations and customer service. And the truth is that it is easier to sell a customer a second time than it is to go find a new customer. It's also less expensive. So you're going to make more money if you focus on the delivery and on the customer service as much as you do the marketing and sales because your best buyers are going to be repeat buyers. So don't skimp on that. Business mistake number three, and this is a big one, a lot of businesses don't align the products with who they are as a person. So let me give you an example. Let's say you see an influencer out there and they're always well-dressed and have great makeup and they have this great lifestyle and they sell this thing that sells that, but that's not you. You're kind of like Julie. You don't like to wear makeup. You like to dress casual. You are more down to earth. You don't like a lot of fluff, but you're trying to be something you're not just because you think that's what's going to sell. And I can tell you right now, sitting here in this chair, having made over eight figures in the totality of my business, that you can be 100% yourself. You can sell 100% authentically and you can make really good money doing it. So if I went through those business mistakes and you have found yourself going, ooh, yeah, I have felt that or, Yeah. Ooh, I may be on the you know risk of doing that in my business because I don't quite know how to make money and I just see all of these things happening around me and I think that's what I have to do. I'm gonna strongly encourage you to do two things. Number one, we have a free community. It is called Marketer's Heart. It is on Facebook. We welcome you to join. We have lots of hard conversations about ethical marketing and building a business that's unapologetically you. And once a year in February, we have a live event. It is called the Marketer's Heart Live Event. It happens every February and we are cordially inviting you to that event. There is an in-person and a virtual option. So if you can't get to wherever the location is on any given year, it's okay. You can get your virtual ticket. So make sure to go to marketersheart.com and join us in building your business in a way that is ethical and in alignment with you. Talk to you soon.